Okay, now I'll test your patience and perseverance. This is the equation of displacement, meaning displacement and was, was is dependent on time. T is time and X is displacement. So, at any given time, you can find the corresponding displacement. The body whose equation this is has a mass of 3 gram. Okay. So, uh, the question is you have to find the work done by the force which is causing this displacement in the first 4 seconds of the motion. So, you have to find the work done by the force which is causing this displacement from 0 to 4 seconds. So, you do not know directly what the force is. Actually, you have to find that force and you have the expression of this uh, displacement and this is the time. So, spend some time with this. Please, please get to an answer and pause this video and spend 5-7 minutes with this and get to the answer before you listen any further. Please, do that. Okay, so I hope you got your answer and it shouldn't have been very difficult for you. Okay, let's do this. Work, all we know is force vector dot displacement vector. Force vector, we don't have it. So, we have to find the force. Where, what is the force? Force mass has been given, so you should be actually enticed to think of this F is equal to MA. And I'm very sure you must have thought of it. Mass is given, acceleration you have to find. Finding acceleration is pretty simple because displacement as a function of time has been given. And velocity is dx by dt. That is 3 minus ht plus 3t squared. And acceleration is dv by dt. So, acceleration is 60 minus 8. So, you have the acceleration at any given time. You have the mass. So, you have the force at any given time. So, we got the force. Okay. Now, displacement. Small amount of work done is equal to, because I have told you the approach. This involves integration because force is changing because acceleration is changing all the time. So, in this kind of problem, every time what we do is we write a small amount of work that is done at any intermediary stage and then you integrate it putting the proper limits. That's what you do. So, in this case also we will write work done at any intermediary stage. For example, work done at any time t. So, work done at any time t is force into small displacement in during that small time period dt. This is what the formula is. Small work is forced into small displacement. Now, what is a small displacement? dx is given here. x is given here and we have to find dx. This s has been given as x. So, we can write it as small work is forced into small displacement f into dx. So, x has been given. Finding dx is easy. Actually, we find dx by dt dx by dt is 3 minus ht plus 3t square and from here you can use dx. dx is 3 minus ht plus 3t square into dt. So, now you have dx, you just put dx here. So, small work will be force, instantaneous force. Instantaneous force is 0 0.003 mass into acceleration 60 minus 8. This is the instantaneous force into small displacement. Small displacement dx is this into dt. So, dx is 3 minus 8t plus 3t square into dt. This is the small amount of work done. Fine. The total work done would be integration of this and you just got to integrate this using proper limit. You have integration in terms of dt. So, the limit that you will put is that of t which is 0 to 4, 0 to 4 seconds. I mean this was the major thing in this problem to replace dx by this. 
Now from here you just have to open the brackets, find the polynomial integration, put the limit, get the answer. The answer would be 528 mJ. And congratulations to all of those who got this. You are doing really well. Now we will solve two problems that have been asked in IPJE previously and then uh, we will continue with further theory. In uh, 1998, IDTJ asked this problem. They gave you a force vector which was F as minus K Y I cam plus X Z cam. X and Y are the coordinates of the points whose displacement this force is causing. If the point moves to, is, if the point is at origin, then the force is zero. If the point moves a little ahead, along the x-axis, if it is on the x-axis, then the y-coordinate is 0, then this, this part of the force is 0, and suppose it is at a comma 0, then the force is actually minus k into a, but in y act towards j cap, okay, so the force acting here would be upwards, like this, that's the meaning of it. So, the force is given by this uh, in, in this Cartesian form and body initially is kept at origin 0 0 and it is in, it has been moved from origin to a point on x axis a comma 0 and from there it has been moved vertically to its y axis to the point parallel to y axis it has been displaced to a point e comma a. So, all they are asking is work done by the agent which is causing this force. Okay. So, please try this one out. Get an answer. Get an answer. At least try this and then listen any further. So, I am hoping that you have tried already and then you are listening to me. Okay. So, work is a scalar quantity and so you can find the work part by part and do the simple arithmetic to add them. There is no vector addition of it. So, we will find the work done during the motion of the particle from 0, 0 to e comma 0. In the first half of the journey, the particle is moving like this because y coordinate remains 0. So, it is moving from origin to a point e comma 0. During the course of journey, y axis, y coordinate is 0. So, in the force if you see, this y will be 0. So, the force which is actually acting in the first half is minus k x j cap. So, work done, work done, we have learnt only one formula, work is force vector dot displacement vector. Force vector is minus k x j cap dot displacement vector. Displacement vector that has occurred here is final position minus initial position a i cap. j cap into i cap is 0. That makes the whole work done to be 0. The force all along was acting along j along y axis and the displacement all along has been towards x axis along x axis. So, displacement and force have been perpendicular through the, throughout the first half of the journey. So, of course, work done would be 0. Okay. 